In this lesson, we're going to draft some more. It would be good to just be able to draw lines and find some other detail components to add to our model. I think some angle for a brick relief, maybe some wood blocking and some bolts would look nice too. The objective of this exercise is to add detail lines, detail components, and to investigate the wide variety of detail components that are actually available. Open the file you've been working on, or open the file called Chapter 13 and follow along. Once in the file, open the view called Section Callout of Typical Parapet. Let's bring in an angle. On the Annotate tab, click the Component button. Click Load Family. Let's go down to Detail Items. Let's go to Division 5 Metals. Let's go to Structural Steel Framing. Now let's go to AISC Angle Shapes section. Click Open. We get a Type Selector dialog. Let's select L6 by 4 by 5 16 L6 by 4 by 5 16 Let's click OK. Let's hit the spacebar a couple times. Let's place it right underneath this brick, just like this. That's some thick line work. I think I know how we can make that line work a little thinner. Let's go to our Manage tab. Let's go to Object Styles. Let's go down to Detail Items. Let's drill in. For heavy lines, let's bump that back to 3. Click OK. That's better. It's heavy, but not so ridiculous. We can nudge it up now. Here we have a nice brick relief angle. One thing I'd like to do is flip it into another direction. Go ahead and select it. And you see you have little flip grips. Go ahead and pick the bottom one and nudge it down a little bit so it sits just right. Right click on one of these guys. Let's create similar. This time, let's put it on the outside of this plywood. Down here about so. Hit escape a couple times. Let's bring in a brick tie. On the detail panel, click the component button. Let's click load family. Go to detail items. Go to division 4 masonry. Let's go to common work results for masonry. Let's go to Masonry Anchorage and Reinforcing. Let's scroll down till we see Corrugated Wall Tie Section. Click Open. I'm going to go ahead and plan it right about here. Remember, sometimes in drafting, you can keep it away from the other item. Nudge that in a little bit. That looks fantastic. I'm going to go ahead and draw a couple lines now. On the Annotate tab, click the Detail Line button. Let's go with Wide Lines. I'm going to draw a line straight through here like this. I'm going to draw a medium line through like this. It's not the prettiest anchor but it's an anchor nonetheless. One thing that's been bugging me is this hatch pattern is going in the wrong direction. The great thing about Revit is it hatches something for you. The bad thing about Revit is it hatches something for you. So if you want that to go in a different direction, you're either bumming or you got to go in there and fix it. Let's go in there and fix it. Select the wall itself. Click Edit Type. For Structure, let's click the Edit button. Find Substrate 2, Plywood Sheathing, and click the Builder button for the material. What we want to do is we want to modify this hatch pattern. You can see a surface pattern we can do in alignment. A cut pattern we can't, so we have to drill into the actual hatch pattern itself to modify that. So for pattern, click where it says Plywood. Where it says Plywood, click Edit. Now Orientation and Host Layers, let's align it with Element. Click OK. Click OK. 
click done, click OK, click OK, click OK, and finally we're back to the model. Ugh, yes, that's better. Let's draw some detail lines, shall we? I'm going to scroll in here. I want to put kind of a top plate on here. I want to put a big X indicating that there's wood framing here. So, simply, I'm going to go annotate, detail line, and my line style is going to be medium lines. I'm going to draw a line here to here. I'm going to select this line. I'm going to right click. I'm going to create similar. My offset is going to be 1.5 inches. I'm going to use my pick lines button. I'm going to offset that line up. Look at us, we're drafting. I'm going to draw another line. I'm going to go with thin lines. I'm going to draw a line here. I'm going to change my offset to zero. I'm going to draw a line here to here, from here to here. With my control key, I'm going to select these three lines. I'm going to mirror them by picking an axis. Very nice. I'm going to select all these lines individually. I'm going to copy them up to the top. I'm going to select these lines again, or I'm going to right click and select previous. I'm going to hit control and grab the rest of the lines that I missed. I'm going to click my mirror draw axis. I'm going to type SM for snap mid. I'm going to snap to the midpoint of that blocking. And I've got it. Last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go detail line, thin lines. And I'm going to draw an X right through this whole thing. It's almost too fun. Hit escape a couple times. <laughs> wow. That's not such a horrible detail. In fact, I like it. By adding a few predefined detail components and some model lines, we were able to create a dandy of a detail.